Little America, Wyoming. I slept pretty good last night. Angles, and now we're gonna split the sleeper. Which just means I took an eight hour break instead of a 10. And then I'll have to take a two hour break later. Wyoming is much nicer in the spring and summer than it is the winter, believe it or not. I can't believe my hair is thinning. I didn't think I was ever gonna get old. This is crap. How do any animals survive Wyoming winters, huh? That's the real question. One tire in the dirt where it belongs. I need you guys to run like a champion today. Yesterday was my very first 700 mile day with this company, or any company, this is the only company I worked for. I don't know why I said it like that, but that was pretty cool. Some of you are worried about scurvy, and guess what? Not today, not yesterday. Man, sleeping feels so good. This one goes out to two people. One, my big sister, her birthday is today. I'm not gonna tell you how old she is, but I'll let you guess. And two, my 18 year old son Colby passed his pack test. So now he's gonna be a wildland firefighter. And I couldn't be more proud. Tremont, Utah. Joe, I found a picture of somebody on your refrigerator and it wasn't me. To be honest with you, I do not care for that. I am here to do my two hour break. I am here to, oh, I'm good at this by the way. Let's have some fun. Poop time was real nice, thanks for asking. The old Wasatch Mountains there. Hey Jesse. Yeah. Do you want to go for a walk? I do. Okay. I, I would like to look for snakes. Are you prepared to go for a walk? I am. Are you also prepared to leave your truck here while I, we go for a walk? I am. Okay. Check and hey, Roger. Let me tell you something about, have you ever heard of broken windows theory? It's no. been disproven, it doesn't matter. Come here. I know what you're doing. It's, it's an old bit. You're trying to insinuate that I'm irresponsible for leaving my doors unlocked. Something bad is gonna happen. Again, nothing bad has ever happened except one time a drug addict stole money from me in Londonderry, New Hampshire. And furthermore, I would like to show you something. Have you ever seen this bitch? You can cut out the B word, I know I said it. <laughs> Actually, um, I think I might take the key out of the ignition. That seems like a precautionary step. Let the record show we made it exactly 13 steps before he started looking for snakes. Hey Jesse, can I show you something? Yeah. Oh. That's it. Yeah. He's really grown up since I saw him last. Okay, so this is not gonna be a walk. It's gonna be a scavenger hunt for wildlife. Do you think we can go for a walk now? This is gonna be like trying to walk a cat. So my comment moms tell me you gotta walk on the opposite side of traffic. You're doing a really good job in the, in the ditch there where you belong. Cause you're an outlaw? That is correct. <laughs> You simply cannot control this maniac. America's dying. That could have been a shopping mall. They decided to grow food instead. This is the most chaotic walk ever. Whoa! What is it? Oh, roly polies. The last state I was in had 10,000 lakes. How many lakes do you think this one has? Just one, and it's great. Anarchy. When do you think we'll start walking? If you saw a python in that water, would you jump in and wrestle it? I would be alarmed. My favorite thing about you is I ask a yes or no question, and 19 minutes later, I get the answer. We're back. <laughs> Oh, man. What? I wonder what those van drivers are doing right now. I was promised snakes. You have not delivered on any yet. 
climate change. Add trespassing to the list. We really are outlaws. Were any snakes found? You know if this is edible? What kind of snakes are in the Wasatch Mountains? I think they have boas there, like rosy or rubber boas. There's probably some kind of garter snake in the Wasatch. They also have one of them rattlesnakes, old crow talus there. I know you're really disappointed that we didn't find a snake. I am. But you know what we did find? Love. Arby's. So the thing about this guy is he's got 133,000 TikTok followers. So if you could wrap his food in like a satin bag, he's pretty fancy like that. Hey, cool. I was checking my Instagram lady and she said, you're on a long journey. You need to rest appropriately. So I blocked her. <laughs> we are stewards of this planet. I got a noise coming from under the hood and I got to figure out what's going on. So. <sighs> How's my hair? Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. You know, early automobiles, they didn't even have windscreens, let alone windshield washer fluid at all. I think before I go, I'm going to knock out a mid-trip inspection. Let's see if he tried to prank me. Oh no, now we can't split up. We're literally tied together. We are tied together. I have to go now. Nice. Where are you going? There's a supply chain crisis. Mm -hmm. We are supply chain crisising in opposite directions. Do you want to do the thing where we have everybody email the company and call Trent Sealer? Not today, Scurvy. I love that guy. Never did like that, bitch. <laughs> Boise, Idaho. Just kidding. Boise, Idaho. Quick break for uh, pee pee time. I miss Jesse. I'm still kind of surprised he didn't vandalize my trailer in some sort of capacity. What a beautiful day. Ontario, Oregon. Fuel time. Chicken bacon ranch. Wrap. Dead Man's Pass, Oregon. Or you can just call it Cabbage Hill. Either way, this is where I'm doing my 10 hours. That's enough flatbed fun for one day. So, like, thanks for hanging out again. Can't believe you're not sick of watching these videos. How's my hair? Thinning? We'll do it again some other time. I love you guys. Orientation on Monday.